Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will discuss the simulation process of input characteristics of BZT in common emitter configuration. I will do the simulation using PSPICE and the download link of PSPICE is given in the description box. If you don't know how to install PSPICE then refer to the video in the description box. Before moving to the simulation process, let's see what is common emitter configuration and how the input characteristics of BZT looks like. Common emitter configuration is more common when BZTs are used as amplifier. BZT are of two types, NPN and PNP transistor. Now see this figure, this is a NPN transistor in common emitter configuration. This is the input side and this is the output side. Here emitter is common to both input and output side, hence the name common emitter. Input is applied here in the base emitter terminal and output is collected from the collector emitter terminal. When BZTs are used as an amplifier, the base emitter terminal is always forward bias and collector base terminal is reverse bias. This is the schematic of BZT in CE configuration. Here we can see this is base current, this is collector current, this is emitter current. The direction of this current will be reversed if we use PNP transistor. Here we can see that uh, IB is the input current and VBE is the input voltage. So if you want to study the input characteristics, you have to study the relationship between IB and VBE. Now come to this figure. This figure shows the input characteristics of BZT. Here for different value of VCE, IB versus VBE counts are shown. We can notice one thing here that VCE has a range of values. And similarly VBE also has a range of values. So whenever we have a range of value, we have to use DC sweep analysis in piecewise. From this characteristics curve, we can notice two things. First is, these curves are similar to normal PN junction forward bias characteristics because this base emitter junction that is input terminal is forward bias. And the second thing is, as we increase the value of VCE, IB will decrease. This is because whenever we increase VCE, the depletion region of collector base junction also increases. Therefore, the effective base width will decrease and the current will also decrease. Now let's see the simulation of this input characteristic. Now I have opened the schematic of this space. To draw the schematic, we need parts like resistor, transistor, etc. To get that, click on get new parts, then select the required parts. In our case, we need one transistor this transistor, then place, place it here, then right click. Then we need two resistor, click on R, then place, place it here, and to rotate this resistor, press Ctrl R, place it, then right click. We need two voltage source VDC, place it, here and here then right click then we need ground select on ground art then place and close place it then right click now 
we need to join this with wires to join that click on draw wires then join it with wires then right click now we need to change this value suppose this is 680 if we don't write anything here then it will consider it as um change this value also suppose this is 330 click ok then we have to save this thematic for that, press Ctrl S, then give a name, suppose input characteristic, then save it. Now go to analysis, then setup, check on DC sweep, then click on DC sweep. This has to be voltage source and this is linear then give the name of the voltage source which is v1 start value 0 and value 1 and increment 0 0.01 then click on nested sweep select on linear and this voltage source the name of the second voltage source is v2 then give the start value 0 or you can give your 1 and value 21 and increment suppose 10 then check on enable nested sweep then press ok close it then go to analysis simulate now a new window will appear click on that window then go to press address select on IB because IB is the input current click on OK this is the input characteristics of BZT in common emitter configuration